Welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. I'm James Nave. I'm Allegra Houston. And if you've been watching these sessions over the last few months or so, you know that every Saturday morning we gather with a group of writers, 10 a.m. Mountain Time and noon Eastern Time, and we work for an hour generating an original piece of writing. It only takes 10 minutes to do, so that's what we're going to do today. And just an aside, you are absolutely invited to come and join us one Saturday if you would like. Uh, you can contact us through our website at imaginativestorm.com. You can just find the Zoom link in the footer and join us at 10 a.m. Mountain Time any Saturday. So this is what we do um, at you 10 a.m. Mountain Time every Saturday. We offer a writing prompt to our group. And to begin with, we ask everyone to generate a list of words. So what we're going to do now is give you the writing prompt and ask you to relax. It's only two minutes. We'll time you. And in that two minute time frame, generate something, a, a word or maybe a little phrase, doesn't have to be linked up writing, just whatever comes to mind. And you will do that in two minutes. And after that, we'll come back and take you to the next step. So it's a list, just to be clear. It's a list of words or short phrases. It's not joined up writing yet. And here is your prompt. So just like on Saturday morning, you now have your personal list. And every Saturday, we also go around the Zoom room and we ask everybody on the call to give one word or phrase from their list. So at the end of the movement around the room, we have two lists, the community list and, and the personal list from every person. So that's what we're going to do now is read the community list to you so you will have both your personal list and your your community list and our community list and here it is fragile porcelain thorny transition incarceration broken moments behind the guild prisoner of etiquette special effects solder ranch and bone shatterproof roses tea spills delicate not tame Japanese pottery course, pretty polite, half a cup, synergies, a grandmother's legacy, family gathering, rough grace, bone china in Auschwitz, masqueraded hell, steely memories, guns and roses. Underneath it all, two chinas, cream and sugar, gray thorns, broken hearted. 
So as Allegro was reading the list, you probably noticed that any one of the phrases on that list would work perfectly well as, as a starting point or even as a prompt. So what we would like for you to do now is to use both of your list as a resource, a whole bunch of prompts, and we would like for you to generate something in 10 minutes using your imagination as the guide. So we like to call it a dance between your rational mind and your imagination, with your imagination being the partner leading the dance. So what does that actually mean? Well, partly it means don't try and have a plan for what you're going to write before you start. Don't worry about whether it makes sense or where you want it to go or try and fulfill some kind of agenda or be anxious about whether you're writing well enough or doing it right. As long as you're writing something, you're writing absolutely well enough and you're doing it absolutely right. So let your eyes roam over the two lists, your personal list and the group list, until your imagination kind of hooks into one of those words or phrases and start there, see where it takes you. You don't have to use any of the other words from either of the lists at all if you don't want to. But if you want to, you can also keep coming back to both of them for uh, inspiration, toys for your imagination to play with, whatever, however you want to use them. Whatever you want to write is doing it perfectly. You can write as fast or as slow as you want. It can be as short or as long as the 10 minutes will allow. So your 10 minutes begins right now.
So before we go any further, I want to credit the artist who created that um, that amazing piece of artwork. His name is Glenn Martin Taylor, and you can see more of his incredible work, which is very much along that same, uh, in that same theme at glennmartintaylor.com. And that, uh, that URL is in the text underneath this video. So now what we would like you to do again, before we go much further, is read what you wrote aloud. Um, that's a very important part of the imaginative storm method. It gets you acquainted with your voice, your actual voice. And it's a great way to start retraining your inner critic into being your inner coach. Because when you read out loud, you develop a much more sort of forgiving and tender relationship with your writing than you do when you read it silently on the page. So put us on pause now and read aloud what you wrote. You read aloud, you heard your material in a different way. Everybody hears the material in a different way when they read aloud. And maybe you happen to have somebody nearby and you read aloud and they were able to hear you. So it's really important to always read that work aloud. If you like what you wrote, we would really enjoy it if you would go to imaginativestorm.com and put it on our circle community. The circle community is where all of the people who participate on Saturday morning, plus people who respond to our Instagram prompts, they go there and they put their work up. And once that work goes up there, we all can see it, interact with it, and you can interact with the work of the others that are there. So it's a really great way to be involved in our Imaginative Storm community. And you'll find that link um, on the community page at imaginativestorm.com, prompt of the week. You'll also, also find it on the homepage. Anywhere it says prompt of the week, just click on that. It'll take you to the prompt of the week space on the circle after you log in, which is free. And, um, and you will see this prompt assigned by its date, which is August 26, 2023. I know this because it's my birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so um, while you're on our website, you might want to check out some of the other things. We have our book, uh, Write What You Don't Know. And we also have a course on Teachable of Write What You Don't Know, which includes uh, us taking you step by step through the, the, the 10 sessions of the book. It also includes a monthly Zoom live with us every uh, the first Monday of every month, and it includes a prompt archive. So you can hear what other people have written to the prompts that you will be working with in that course. Uh, check that out at imaginativestorm.com. You can also see our live um, workshops on Zoom and in person that we offer, but there's a lot coming up on Zoom uh, soon, a whole memoir series. And as I say, you will find all of that information at imaginativestorm.com, along with a bunch of other writing tips here on YouTube. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you again sometime soon. Join us on a Saturday. <laughs>